This is a real life curvy slime. Pretty satisfying, right? Well, Geometry Dash has similar extremely satisfying things in the game that will relax and wow you at the same time. Like this one for example. A curvy wave. A wave can normally only move diagonally, but with a contraption somehow this very smooth wave was made. I know it's not anything special yet, but just wait. One of the best creators in Geometry Dash is named Kuluk. He spends hours upon hours to create some of the greatest creations ever seen, and one thing he built looked like this. In 450 hours, he crafted probably the most beautiful and stunning thing ever made in the game. A Geometry Dash short made by YouTuber Beanable was the only YouTube short I could find that had a 100% perfect loop. Still, it could be improved, which is why it's so low on the list. The world record for the most players in one level at the same time, which could be done with a Geometry Dash multiplayer mod, was achieved by Partition. He played a level with more than 20 players at the same time, and it looks pretty cool. Or what about a level where you can't tell if it's a picture or not? This level shows one of the best pieces of art in the game that I've ever seen, each picture looking even better than the last one. Geometry Dash is a game, but it also is a mini game. Let me explain. GD Vesuvius, the creator of this minigame, made a Geometry Dash game literally in Geometry Dash. And it's really weird and cool to play it at the same time. A thing that was only satisfying for the player themselves sadly also exists. Sniffy is the creator of How to Clutter Funk, and he spent exactly 0 seconds on making it since it's a copy of the main Rob Top level Clutter Funk. Still, he got creator points because of this, one of the hardest things to obtain in the game. We now go from abnormal stuff to something casual again. This is the hardest straight fly ever done, meaning these are clicks almost optimized to human perfection, and it is so satisfying due to the precision of it. The challenge is the least known official Rob Top level. It's a short level that isn't too challenging and very straightforward. One cheese you can do skips a part of the level with the dash orb, and it's always pretty satisfying to skip it. Animations can be made in movies, videos, but also in Geometry Dash. The level third walk by Blow My Poo exactly describes that. It's basically some weird Pokemon that has been animated walking. Imagine spending hours upon hours to get a single achievement. Geometry Dash has some very tricky achievements that sometimes take months to complete. So how would it feel to literally be on the verge of beating one hard achievement? Or all of them? Jack Axon beat every achievement in the game after a simple but very special level to him. It took him 3 years, so he must have felt amazing. Line Rider is a game with lines where you can zoom across with your sledge. This was somehow recreated in GD and it looks just perfect, exactly hitting the lines at the best spots. Effects like these are always so satisfying to see. Another example is an effect made by Woolsey, with rotational triggers that look like this at its end results. Funnily enough, normal gameplay isn't the only way you can make something satisfying. Let's enable cheats for example. With the turn hitboxes on hack, specifically this level becomes extremely pleasant to look at. And even better, a level that is literally named satisfying. It can't get any better than that. While it is pretty cool looking, it's still far from the list it's top 10. The next one, even you might be able to do. By having an extreme amount of FPS, you apparently can make your ship perform some really weird and questionable movements. And even though it's really smooth, it's kind of weird. Hitboxes, which is the area where you're able to die or collide with something, do not make any sense in this game. This spike for example has rectangles as hitboxes, which obviously makes no sense whatsoever. So it's pretty soothing to see YouTuber Trite recreate the spike but with absolutely perfect hitboxes and stats. A satisfying thing we've all experienced is guessing something right before it happens. This also happened to this person guessing the winning attempt after which YouTuber Juniper beat it. So if I leave this call, will you beat the level right now? Maybe. Okay. Oh my gosh. The next one is simple, yet it needs to be on the list. Keep holding levels are levels where, as the name suggests, you just need to hold. And there are a lot of really smooth levels made like this, which you can't stop looking at. Silent Circles. An impossible level with an absurd amount of clicks needed to defeat it. However, sometimes there were people who used bots to complete levels like this. And with these completions, their clicks were included. And just listen to it. It sounds so great. This also can be said about Kai Guy's impossible spam completions, where the sounds are just so great to listen to, I don't know why. Satisfying can mean beautiful, smooth, relaxing, but also speed. 
For some reason, the faster you go in Geometry Dash, the more satisfying it looks. And the level Mountain Queen takes this to the extreme. It currently is one of the fastest levels ever made in the game. The Geometry Dash 2.2 update brings a crap ton of features to the table. And there actually are certain mods that allow you to access some of these features, even being able to upload 2.2 based levels. With these features, the level After Dark was created, which looks more like an edit than an actual level. Since we are talking about effects, I had to mention this effect from It's Dub Fib. I'm not sure what it is, but it's satisfying as hell. To finalize our effect spree, let's mention Able, an award-winning level for its stunning effects, mainly this one. But not the regular version. The RDX version makes it even more beautiful looking than before. Being a Geometry Dash moderator is one of the most prestigious things you can achieve in the game. You now have the ability to send levels to the game's owner Robtop, so it's quite something. But what if there was a way to cheese this system? Manix648 did this. By complete luck, Robtop joined the stream once, and Manix joked about being an in-game moderator. For some reason, Robtop gave him this role, and Manix is the only person who achieved this role in such a weird way. Let's talk about some actual mods now. Planet Mod. This mod changes the game shape into a planet and somehow it comes to looking at this mod as gameplay. I just mentioned Robtop, right? This is what he looks like, pretty handsome. One really satisfying thing I found though was this picture of him where he now is a woman. I think Robtop has something hidden about him. While the previous so-called satisfying thing was a joke, let's get back on track. We all love spamming, don't we? Mashing buttons as quickly as we can. Well, what if I said this also can be done in Geometry Dash? Punch Drunk is a famous extreme demon, aka a difficulty for the hardest levels available, and you need to very consistently spam here, which looks so smooth. Perfectly round numbers are the pinnacle of being pleasing. A now deleted Reddit user achieved this perfection by getting this level complete screen with all round numbers. Something similar to this is this level with as you can see more than 40,000 plays, but zero likes, due to the same amount of people having liked the level as people have disliked it. As you can see, we are now getting into the truly satisfying territory. A level with supposedly perfect sync was named Nice Sync and was created by Jun Hasu. Here's a small part of it with perfect clicks. Even better in sync in my opinion is the level high score, where you can almost beat the level blindfolded and that's how good it is. And what about Cataclysm played in 0.05 times speed, sped up 20 times. It looks normal except for the fact that there literally are micro clicks everywhere, which I think are pretty satisfying to be honest. Trappy can be pleasing too. Level Quintuple Mode shows this perfectly by having 6 icons jump over the same spikes all at once. There are many ways to click fast. Butterfly clicking, jitter clicking, you name it. With methods called lip spamming and auto clicking, you can click incredibly fast, leading to some really satisfying things being possible to do in game, as you can see. A number so perfect that you wouldn't believe it. I found it in Geometry Dash. On the 420 69th level ever created with ID 420 69, 420 likes were achieved. Sadly, it isn't the case anymore, but I dare you guys to bring this beautiful number back. We of course can't leave out one of the most satisfying things ever made. In the level how, a transition was made with the most realistic splash I've ever witnessed. And speaking of transitions, once upon a time a level named Rectangle was created. It was uploaded by famous YouTubers and it garnered a lot of attention. In the comment section there was one timestamp however that kept being talked about. On timestamp 1 minute 20, a very very smooth transition was made that kept people in awe. The second most satisfying thing I have ever seen was on the level Final Fantasy. But how can a level with just spikes as obstacles be satisfying? Satisfying. Well, player Zenny somehow found a way to implement this level on the notepad. Not sure how, but boy, it looks soothing. Our final most satisfying thing in the game, of course, is a geometry player touching grass for the first time. This only has been achieved by 0.01% of the players, and it's just so great to see it actually happen with your own eyes. I hope you enjoyed, and 